Hi beauties, happy spooktober. I have my spooky tree here. It's like a Christmas tree, but spooky. I love it. I love it so much. In fact, it sits on my desk year round because I love October. Anyway, today I wanted to go ahead and look at the Ipsy spoilers for November. It is October 3rd as we're filming it. I think it's gonna get posted tomorrow, so it'll probably be like October 4th. But they always are really good about releasing the spoilers for the next month pretty early on, um, most likely to try and get people to subscribe for next month. So I wanted to do a video. I did look for boxy charms. I really did. I, I searched high and low and I just couldn't seem to find it anywhere. If you guys have any links that have the information about what BoxyCharm spoilers for next month are gonna be, then feel free to share it in the, the comments and everything and let us know um, because I would like to know that. I just couldn't find it for this particular video, but nonetheless, we will we will persist on, muscle through it. Um, I'm gonna start, I have it for the standard glam bag, the plus and the ultimate. I only have a standard and a plus subscription, but I do like to show you guys the ultimate just in case you are interested in that as well. So we'll start with the glam bag and we'll move on up. Let's do it. Really quickly, if you're new here, welcome, we love you. Maybe consider subscribing, we're fun. We do a lot of subscription boxes and other beauty related things though. <laughs> All right, done, I'm done selling myself. You don't have to subscribe, I just, it would make me happy. Okay, so standard glam bag, first of all, design precious. Absolutely love it. Um, I love all three bags. I liked October's too with the whole like, uh, it was like kind of like a witchy vibe to it, which you guys know I'm way into. I absolutely love all three bags. Um, I said for the October bag, if I have the option to be able to at any point to buy the ultimate bag so I can have the full collection, I will. I'll probably do it with the November bag too because I really do enjoy what it looks like. It's got this really beautiful, um, the I guess blocked off color pattern, very abstract. I just, I'm into it. I love it. It definitely gives me November vibes with the tan, the white, and the navy. Just think it's really cute. All three bags. And so that's, we got the standard, we have the plus with the nice little pull string, and then we've got the ultimate down at the bottom. So yeah, I'm really excited about the bags because the bags are precious. If I can't find it on Ipsy's website directly, I normally go to mysubscriptionaddiction.com. They have a really good uh, grasp on all of the, the spoilers pretty quickly. Um, they normally get it up there pretty fast. We'll look at her website and we'll check it out there. So that's, once again, that's the bag. First thing we've got the 1-1 Skin, I think it's the Y Theorem Day Cream. I like 111 skin. I've been using so much more skincare. I used to complain about skincare. I'm really into it now, so it's hard for me to complain. So I think that's a good product. Then we have Lovely from Sarah Jessica Parker, and it's like one of the rollerball fragrances. It's not necessarily something I would think I want, but I, we don't get fragrances ever, so it's kind of nice to see something new. I, I think I've smelled Lovely before, and I think it smells good, but I don't own it. I don't know for certain if I like it or not, but I still, I think it's cool that they've added that in there. I know they've done fragrances in the past, but I just don't, I, it's been a long time since I remember seeing one, so that's cool. Tatcha Deep Cleanse, Tatcha's a great brand, and cleansers are, I mean, they're always necessary. Everybody washes their skin, so. Then we've got a Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. Seems like it's just a, like a really deep moisturizer that's help, like it's supposed to like replenish your skin. It seems like for me that a lot of what the choices are are very skincare heavy. Going into winter, especially like my skin personally, I get really dry and cracked all winter. So I'm okay seeing a lot of like hydrating creams and things like that to try and combat that. It, there's just not a lot of makeup choices. So, you know, do with that what you will. I don't think it's a bad thing. Like I said, 2020 for me personally has been the year of skincare because I've been barely putting on makeup. So it's not a bad thing. It's just a lot of skincare. We have a Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base and it's a primer. So this is actually something that I would consider choosing. Um, there's been a lot of really good choices. It's honestly, I would be okay getting any of them, but the Bobbi Brown Primer is something that I would really gravitate towards. I enjoy primers quite a bit. Um, Bobbi Brown is obviously a pricey brand, so that's a nice thing to have the option to get. We've got this Complex Culture Good Lighting Highlighter. This is really pretty. It's hard because I, I think that if I, if these are our choices, which most of the time when they release the spoilers, they are gonna be the choices. The Bobbi Brown is probably what I will pick because it I I like primers. I. Bobby Brown is a pricey brand. I don't have a lot of his products because they are expensive. I do like the highlighter though. It's so hard for me not to choose a makeup product, but it's pretty, it's pretty color. Um, we have the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer from uh, First Aid Beauty. Good product. First Aid Beauty is not that expensive. So to buy a full size of this is not that expensive. So I probably wouldn't choose it, but I do like the product a lot. 
Um, then we've got an item lid glaze. You guys know I'm currently wearing a liquid eyeshadow from an Ipsy like a deal of the day that they did. I really like liquid eyeshadows. So this is another really good product in my opinion. Looks really pretty. I'm super interested in it. It's probably not what I'm going to choose if I am being honest. I probably will go with the Bobbi Brown thing. Um, then we've got this really pretty, very neutral pinky blush shade from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, the liquid lipsticks. I'm a big fan of liquid lipsticks as well. And then we have a Tarte Shape Tape, a mini one. It's in the shade light medium. I love Shape Tape. Unfortunately, I've gotten some of these samples before. They're just really tiny. You only get a couple uses out of them. So I, that's a good product, just not something I would choose. I feel like you've got a good amount of stuff in there, a good amount of variety. It is very skincare heavy, but once again, I feel like November, December is a good time to do the skincare heavy stuff. So yeah, I think that's, I, I think that's a good sign that hopefully it will be a good month for our standard bags. All right, let's move on to the plus. The plus I was really excited about because honestly, I really think that every product that they have in there, I'd be okay receiving if I, rec if I recall correctly. First thing we have, Tula Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. I don't know if you guys are new to the channel. If you are, welcome. If you've watched me in the past, you might've seen when I did my like most picked, my top products of I think September maybe. Tula as a brand, just holy crap have I been blown away by them. I, one I didn't realize it was Sean Johnson's company, that's really cool. But I got like an eye cream from them and like a, a little kit. And then I got a primer from them in a little kit. And then I got a toner from them in a little kit. And then all of a sudden I was like, I'm a, I'm a Tula addict. Like I freaking love their products. So when I saw this on there, I was like, hell yes. If I get that, I will be really excited. So I love to see that on there. Love Tula, highly recommend it. I have yet to use a product from them that I have not enjoyed. So that's a great product for me as well. Um, then you got this really cute little Sugar Rush lip sip. It's a vegan oil in the shade Jack Dragon Fruit, or maybe it's not shade, maybe that's the flavor of it, maybe. But it seems, it's really cute packaging. It seems like it's just a very basic, neutral, like refreshing lip oil, kind of gives you that natural dewiness to your lips. Not something that I would normally go for, if I'm being honest. Love the packaging though. So really precious. I don't think I would choose it. If it gets chosen for me, I don't think I'll be disappointed, but it's definitely not what I would, what, what I would want out of this bunch of stuff. Then we have the Violet Voss Coral Pop Palette. If you guys have watched the video talking about customization choices for October's Ipsy, I opted to not get the Violet, Violet, Violet Voss Creme Brulee palette. I went with the Laura Makeup Bright palette instead, the really, I think it's the Moods palette, the one that had a lot of vivid colors in it, um, in hopes that Violet Voss's palette would be in the add-on section, and it was not, so I was very sad about that. This Violet Voss palette is a mini version. Um, the, the one that I had the option to choose and opted not to was a little bit bigger, had a couple more shades in it, but I love Violet Voss and I love every one of these colors. I, I'm into it. I would abs I would, I would wear this palette all the time if I could. I love coral shades for the eyes. You've got a ton of great stuff. It's mainly mattes. There's one really gorgeous shimmer shade. I want it. I'm gonna be honest, I want this one. So I love it, I love that. Um, then we've got a Murad Retinol Night Cream. I love Murad, I like, creams because of my skincare. Like I said, I've been doing a lot more, so that's a great product. We have a Julep eyeshadow cream. Um, I've used a couple of the Julep ones. I like those too. So, and I love Julep. They have one of my favorite concealers on the market. So, um, and it's in a really pretty neutral color, Champagne Shimmer. I feel like that's another good one for like that fall vibe. Um, then we have the Tristique Good Vibes Mascara. I have received this in both an Ipsy and a Boxy Charm before, but it's one of my favorite mascaras. It does have an eyelash curler on the end. My mom really doesn't like the eyelash curler, but I do. Um, she doesn't like it because it's really thin. So you kind of have to like curl your eyelashes in two parts. I'm fine with that, doesn't bother me. Um, I like it a lot and it's really convenient having it on the end of your mascara, but the mascara itself is one of my favorites. It's got that kind of hourglass shape, um, similar to like Better Than Sex mascara from Tarte and it just has a great formula. I use it pretty regularly, so it, I wouldn't prefer to get it because I do have one that I'm currently using and a backup of it, but it's hard to complain when I know it's one of my favorite products for this particular genre in, in mascaras, so good, good product. 
And that's all we have for the plus. Um, once again, I'm excited with that. There's a lot of stuff that I would be happy with them choosing for me. A lot of stuff that I would want to choose for myself. My highlights would be the Tula and the Violet Boss palette though. I like, I would love to see both of those in my back. Finally, we'll go on to the, the ultimate. I felt like it had some good stuff and I felt like it had some stuff that maybe we've seen in the past, but once again, I don't get the ultimate. So it's very hard for me to, I don't know exactly what they've offered before, but just bear with me. So we have the Biro Bell Pepper Serum. And this is supposed to be a, uh, a serum that hydrates and soothes red and irritated skin. That would be perfect for me in wintertime. I, I, that is what happens to me. My skin gets red, it gets dry, it gets cracked. It's very bad. So that's that's a good product. Um, we've got a Milk Makeup Kush Lip Glaze. And it looks like, is it a shade? I, I don't know, it's in Chronic. Oh, it's a hemp driven, okay, cool. So it's a hemp driven, and I know Milk did, I think Milk was the one that did, or maybe it was Milk Cosmetics. I may be wrong. I'm not gonna say anything else because I may be wrong. So yeah, it's got um, cannabis seed oil. I've, I've really been a big fan of all the CBD and cannabis infused products that I've received this year. So that probably would be a good one, especially once again, during the winter when lips are dry and cracked and in need of desperate help. So cool. Then we have a Milk Makeup Matcha Cleanser. We have the Cottage Greenhouse Pomegranate Facial Serum. That would be a good one too. Now it's funny, cause I used to, to think maybe the ultimate wasn't the right choice for me cause it is really, it seems to be always really skincare heavy. But now with, with 2020 and with us not really going anywhere and not really doing anything, I am only putting on makeup basically for the channel. So I am doing cleanses and serums and masks and eye creams and all of that daily. And I, it's, it was something I was very bad about before and now I'm a lot better with it. And because of that, I feel like 50 bucks for the Ipsy Ultimate is a damn steal. Cause those, I mean, you want serum is like 80 bucks a lot of the time. So like, I would like to get the Cottage Greenhouse Pomegranate Serum. Maybe I can add it on, I don't know. Uh, we've got the Outer by Use Me Instant Repair Hair Mask with CBD. Ah, see, I just am a big fan of the CBD trend. I really am. I feel like it really does go in there and just like do some good work. It, do, it does some good work. So that's a cool one. This, oh, Nomad, Nomad times Tuscany Intense Eyeshadow Palette. Gorgeous fall colors, really beautiful. A lot of reds, a lot of browns. You get this really kind of cute mustardy shade. Love it. That's that's a, that's a good product as well. And that's our last one. Okay, so it looks like it's a promising month for Ipsy. I didn't see really any product in the, the batch that I wasn't like thrilled about. Um, maybe the lip oil was something I was kind of like, meh. But overall, it, it looks promising. I've been happy with how Ipsy Plus has changed. I was really happy with my September standard bag, even though my mom and I got the exact same bag. Um, it was it was a great bag, so it's hard for me to complain about it. But yeah, so I'm excited to I'm excited to see how Ipsy finishes out the year. I think they've made a lot of changes, and I think the changes that they've made have been successful. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, then subscribe. I've asked so many times this video. Maybe if you stuck around this long, just just do it for us. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with the dark twist.